Sir David Gill LLD, the 12th of June 1843 to the 24th of January 1914, was a Scottish astronomer who is known for measuring astronomical distances, for astrophotography, and for geodesy. He spent much of his career in South Africa. Topic: Life and work. David Gill was born at 48 Skeen Terrace in Aberdeen the son of David Gill, watchmaker and his wife Margaret Mitchell. He was educated first at Bellevue Academy in Aberdeen then at Dollar Academy. He spent two years at Aberdeen University, where he was taught by James Clark Maxwell, and then joined his father's clock-making business. It would seem that Jill's interests lay elsewhere since after a few years he sold the business, and then spent time equipping Lord Lindsay's private observatory at Dunecht, Aberdeenshire. In 1874, Jill joined the expedition to Mauritius to observe the transit of Venus. Three years later he went to Ascension Island to observe a near approach of Mars and to calculate its distance. While carrying out these laborious calculations, he was notified of his appointment to the Cape Observatory, which, over the following 27 years he was to refurbish completely, turning it into a first-rate institution. Gill was a meticulous observer and had a flair for getting the best out of his instruments. His solar parallax observations with a heliometer and his calculations of distances to the nearer stars, a testimony to his outstanding work. He recruited Robert Innes to the Cape Observatory, Jill used the parallax of Mars to determine the distance to the Sun, and also measured distances to the stars. He perfected the use of the heliometer. He was Her Majesty's astronomer at the Cape of Good Hope from 1879 to 1906. He was a pioneer in the use of astrophotography, making the first photograph of the Great Comet of 1882, and one of the early proponents of the Carte du Ciel project. The invention of dry plate photography by Richard Leach Maddox made Jill realize that the process could be used to create images of the stars and to more easily determine their relative positions and brightness. This led to a massive project in collaboration with the Dutch astronomer J. C. Captain, and the compiling of an index of brightness and position for some half a million southern stars. The work was published as Cape Photographic Deutschmusterung in three volumes between 1896 and 1900. Jill also played a leading role in the organizing of the Carte du Ciel, an ambitious international venture aimed at mapping the entire sky. He initiated the idea of a geodetic survey along the 30th East Meridian stretching from South Africa to Norway, resulting in the longest meridian yet measured on Earth. Jill married Isabel Black in 1870, and she accompanied him to Ascension Island for his Mars observations. On Jill's retirement in 1906, the couple moved to London, where Jill served for two years 1909 as President of the Royal Astronomical Society before his death in 1914. He was buried in the grounds of St Macca's Cathedral, Aberdeen. <laughs> Selected writings His writings include Heliometer Determination of Stellar Parallax in the Southern Hemisphere, and A Determination of the Solar Parallax and Mass of the Moon from Heliometer Observations of Victoria and Sappho. In Annals of the Cape Observatory, Volumes VI and VII, 1896. A determination of the solar parallax from observations of Mars at the island of Ascension. In the Memoirs of the Royal Astronomical Society, volumes XLVI and XLVIII, 1881 and 1885. New International Encyclopedia. 
A History and Description of the Royal Observatory, Cape of Good Hope, 1913. Heliometer observations for determination of stellar parallax made at the Royal Observatory, Cape of Good Hope. London, Air and Spottiswood, 1893. Honours <laughs> 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 Elected Fellow of the Royal Society, 7 June 1883 Companion of the Order of the Bath, 20 May 1896 Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath, 24 May 1900 President, Royal Astronomical Society, 1909–1911 Member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, 1910 <inaudible> <inaudible> Lectures In 1909 he was invited to deliver the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on Astronomy, Old and New. <inaudible> <inaudible> Awards. Val's Prize 1879 Bruce Medal 1900 Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society 1882 and 1908 James Craig Watson Medal 1899 Topic <laughs> Named after him Jill Lunar Crater Jill Martian Crater